Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents, the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Charles. What's here, okay? The one and only Heavy Duty QT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was actually kind of normal today, so we'll let that one ride. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a special guest with us today. We got the one and only Peace God, aka Big Bill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My boy Big Bill. So welcome to the show, bro. New York. You know what I'm saying? Team Homie. Uh Thunder Guards Nation, upstairs gang, man. Yo, thank you for having me, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Salute. Absolutely, man. The honor's all ours, definitely. So, we ain't going to waste time because we got a whole lot of things to do today. Ladies and gents, we're going to get into it. So, you guys ready? Yep. yep. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. And we give it back to you, the people. Comedian CJ Travis, <laughs> the floor is yours, brother. What are we talk about this week? All right, so everybody know, uh, I guess so, those who are on social media, a lot of times conversations about you know women or men talk about who are the breadwinners, who take care of the home, 50 50, and all kind of good stuff. So, my question is if there's a person who's a breadwinner, whether it's a male or female, they pay, say, majority of the bills, 89% of the bills, whatever it is, do they have, do you think they have the ability to? cheat freely without the other person saying anything because they are pretty much taking care of everything can they do what they want to outside of a relationship marriage or whatever it is because hey at this point I'm, I'm taking care of everything so how dare you say anything now think about that hmm. can i can i chime in yeah. go for it is is the sex with your partner good or is it whack it's good i say no then it's no point now remember, you're speaking from the aspect of you're being taken care of. You're the you mean, kept dude. You're the, you're the kept guy. So she's she, stepping she, out because she's making all the money. Is that cool matter. with you? No. Say the sex is good, but it's not frequent. Because she's a breadwinner, so she's got to go get the money. So she's, a lot of times she's gone. But when she's gone, she may be out of town, out of town trip, whatever. She doing whatever Still she wants to. Okay. So it's not cool for for her to do it. No. no. Would it be cool for you? No. Does it make sense? If everything's good, you know, even though one one party's making more money than the other, you know, that's that's the finance part of it. But overall, if the sex is good, the, the house is being taken care of and all that, there's no issues, no fighting. This makes no sense, bro. All She's right, doing I... it without you knowing. She's, right. It's going on for years. You now just that's happen, different. You just happen to come. She's not coming to you normally and saying she's doing she's just doing it and you just happen to find the information and her, 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 reason, her reason is That's a whole new story. her reason is nigga i'll pay for everything we're real cavalier dare, with it how dare you say shit that them sneakers you got on that's me them fucking how video dare games you you're playing smashing you raw and you smashing other dudes you risking my life all right now hold on i i i didn't see bill do his uh his side seat. I, I've, I've seen I'm, his brother do it several times on, on his on his uh, podcast on on Facebook. And when he does this, this brother be dropping some knowledge. So, All right, go ahead. I'm let, hit us with it, Bill. What, what you got, brother? Check this out. So, for, if I'm a kept man, right, um, and my wife is cheating, you know what I'm saying? It's I. Uh, under no circumstances should I accept it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I am a uh, able-bodied, well-capable guy. You know what I'm saying? And there just ain't enough of them. Uh, there, there's not enough of us, right? So mm. even if even if you're the breadwinner or what have you, it, you know what I'm saying? The, the sex ain't a money thing with women. It's typically an emotional connection that they got because women all into their feelings and the fucking horoscope 
and 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 this rock passion. from amethyst. You know what I'm saying? And it like I that that's but, their thing. The right? stone change color. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like, but for us, for men, okay. All right, so check this out. So if my woman was the cheat, whether I'm making the money or not, it's because that another nigga put her in a position to feel the way that I once made her feel. Right. They typically don't cheat frivolously. I don't give a fuck about this hot girl summer nonsense that women typically like. That's that's Ooh. just the flavor I'll that they. Yeah, <laughs> 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 right. But, but, we, but, but usually have to, you know what I'm saying, have an emotional connection and a trust and a security component that that keeps them attached to that if it ain't just because he's Boris Kojo or Morris Chestnut or whatever other nigga that women typically find hot, right? So, uh, so some dude had to put the work in the same way that I once put work in in order to get her there. So by that, it, it's not acceptable. Not happening. You out of here. You know what I'm saying? I will go get a younger, dumb bro. Whatever. As far as I go, um, you know what I'm saying? A man to cheat. You know what I'm saying? They say you know men don't cheat. They exercise options. So that's some Kevin Samuels shit I heard once. But uh, it don't make sense, bro. Because it's just like yo, know, it's just too much consequence behind you cheating. It, it's too much consequence behind a brother not having self-control. Like, you signed up. You know what the rules are. The rules were there before you got married and before any of everybody in here got married. Or after, the rules were the same. You get caught cheating. The consequence is you giving up half your shit. Or more. You know what I'm saying? It's just the juice ain't worth the squeeze, bro. I, and it's not, it's not worth having to put in work to do that. It's just not for me, bro. So on both levels, I don't find it acceptable. I got a question for it you. It got nothing to do with you made a commitment to God or anything like that. It just makes good business sense. Big Bill. <laughs> Big Bill. I, I respect every everything you said, and I applaud you, and I concur. I'm the same way. But. There we go. Oh shoot! The hands are together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the praying hand emojis. <laughs> my, my brother, Big Bill. And here we go. If you go to a massage, oh, yeah. he had to find and a way to you get your regular massage plus any extras. <laughs> because of their ways and customs, they take care of you. Even though here in the U.S. is taboo or is normal around the world, would you consider that cheating in any way, or just part of the massage to help you release the stress? We're talking about the happy ending, right? Don't consider that cheat. You know why? A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> yeah. oh my you know God. why? Because oh. you don't even know the name. You know what I'm saying? Her name got shoe shy shin or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Her name is Sus. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> show. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Her name is Chun Li, but her name is Lucy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if her name just got sticks and letters. What? What I can't, the hell? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is that? Hold on. Hold on. Her name, her name, this is her alphabet. It, it, her name is Dragon <laughs> Little House. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about to have a whole community. Oh, Chop you on the throat. That's, that's her name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. The views of the lighter complected people on this podcast do not necessarily <laughs> reflect the views of all of What is that talking about? Some young guy special. <laughs> some young guy. So, so y'all want passes because people's names aren't American? <laughs> that what we sense. do? She don't count. I can't pronounce it. I didn't it cheat. Makes sense. I didn't know her name was the one who oh. said How are you going to form that emotional connection to me? I, I don't. There's it's no emotions. 
So it's, it's only considered cheating when you emotionally attack. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if your wife goes out and she she smashes Bruce Lee. Okay. Or or a Jackie Chan type. That's cool because they're from China or they're from Japan or they're from Korea or the Philippines or somewhere else. That's cool because their name and their native tongue is spelled with uh, kitchen cabinet tables and coffee <laughs> tables and shit like that. That's cool no, though. It's, not, it's cool. You know why? Because there had there's, there's no work to be put into it. It's a one and done situation. It's sort of the root it's sort of the bedrock of uh, those Miami trips that women take, or those those girl trips to Jamaica that women take. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can have an idea, you know that the shit can happen, but as long as this shit ain't following you home, or the shit don't work its way into your inbox somehow, or what have you, then you know it's it's what it is. Your woman didn't live under a rock before you met her. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, you either got to hold them up or you got to hold them down, right? Um, if you're not, if you're not the adequate source of their sanity at some point and they get it anonymously, then that it's all fair game. But if they are calling out of work, if they're leaving your kids hungry, if they are derelicting their duties as an adult, to the commitment that they made to you, you know what I'm saying? To uphold, protect, serve, you know what I'm saying? The duty part of the marriage part, if they're derelicting any of those things, then yeah, man, that's cheating, bro. And right now, I see that a testimony. Hey, he has done great things. But if it's just, yo, man, she got too lit one day and she came back, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she came back home or what have you and you know shit happened then you just you you got to kind of chalk it up you you kind of got to chalk it up man if it, it, as long as you don't know that it happened you can confirm it all you want because women are people sorry people are experts at that denial part and you know what i'm saying and they'll go above and beyond to hide it around but yeah, you know but what i'm saying it's <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I hear you guys, but you you guys are kind of pigeonholing the whole thing that comedian CJ Travis set up, and you're forgetting a very vital part that he already set up. He said, if this woman is the breadwinner, she has the supreme bread in the house. So those Miami trips or those of her setting out might not be a one-off situation. You know what I'm saying? She go she, whenever she wants to. She go she whenever she wants to. She can fly him in. She put fly, the, yeah. the nigga across town. Right. You know, she got the that's big bread. You know, when she leave the house, she got the Lambo truck in the driveway. You know what I'm saying? If, she ever, if my wife ever come home and told me, yeah, I stayed out till seven in the morning, suck my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Good call back, brother. <laughs> one of us, gobble, gobble, yeah, one of us. We accept that one of us. Gobble, gobble, one of us. We accept that one of us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Really have to, you know what I'm saying, make a, a mission critical decision <laughs> on if I want to tolerate that or not, bro. But yeah, that is blatant cheap. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to hear and from that, Michelle now. I got to hear from Michelle. All I'm right, so both sides of the coin. You the breadwinner, and then you got a kept nigga, or dude's breadwinner, and you chilling at the crib. Mm -hmm. Listen, if I had the dragon lady from the massage parlor coming to my house to do massages, that's cheating, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I go to where she's at, it's, it's a different situation, bro. I'm not bringing her. It's her profession, situation. right? Yeah, bro. According right? to I mean, heavy duty, that that's oh. her profession. Yeah. <laughs> it's stress relief. She jerk your joint. Hey, man, that's just her job. I gave her money for that. You fucking <laughs> scumbag, you. <laughs> bro, it, it's a taboo in the United States. In Europe, in Asia, it's normal. It's it's, it's part of the massage. No, it's it a taboo in Asia as well. No, That's why. Not. Yes, it is, dude. I lived in Japan for Bro, eighteen I months. Kung Fu movies. <laughs> 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 Well, hell, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Dude, that's why they have districts out there. It's not just an everyday occurrence and everyday thing. It's just like over here. They 
There's places where they know it happens and they turn the other cheek or they, they turn a blind eye, excuse me, um, just like they do here. I mean, it's it's that type of business is that type of thing. But an honorable person overseas, you know, that it just doesn't get down that way. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be sure there's a lot of executive and rich folks going in there. Just like Look here. The, the Patriots owner in Florida. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Michelle, okay, no, please. <laughs> this is Yo, CJ's easy. topic. It's not mine, so I don't need to be taken <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. It's right, easy well, to use. I will say. Asian. I can't you hear you. Uh, because they are, because Asians are typically all about the service. They got no personality, you know what I'm saying? But they will dry clean your shit perfectly, right? Uh, but I don't understand how there's a billion of these motherfuckers and they ain't got no personality here. You know what I'm saying? In the United States, is they look they look past us somehow to where we're like we're ghosts, like we're in their way. So it's like where. How do you, all you bland, non-personality motherfuckers be having a billion people <laughs> on this planet, bro? I don't get it with that, man. Because they they are steeped in tradition, and we lack it. Yep. So they care about their traditions, and when their traditions, when when they get around us and we lack that, you don't respect us. they don't respect us. And that's all it is. That's 100%. Is death. Because you go over there... Yeah, you talk that shit if you want to. <laughs> you right. fuck around in a in an Asian prison, you'd be like, oh Lord, I have made a mistake. Right. Jesus, come get me. Right. Please. <laughs> right. I made a grave mistake. Please tell me how you meandered into an Asian prison prison to to, to have the suit, to, to understand this experience. Please well, help me. You know, because I'm a you know, I'm a United States Marine and I never had to go into one to be in one. But I've had to go get some of my fellow brothers out of it while I was on duty mm. and going in there to get them out from being drunk and doing dumb shit around nationals out in town, you know, and I'm seeing the cells that they're staying in. I was like, y'all motherfuckers is stupid. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing over here. <laughs> Whatever they say, yeah. I'm supposed to bow. Did they have to take <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> say that again? <laughs> They take their shoes off before they enter their cell? I didn't have to. I was in uniform. <laughs> but they was in there damn near butt naked with a fucking uh, sackcloth on. <laughs> Sitting in there talking about, I'm sorry, I'm ready to go home. Please please send me home to American prison. <laughs> they was hurting, boy. Yeah, let me show what you got. Hey, anyway. Asian prison, bro, all I can think about is a whole bunch of people just slurping noodles. You know what I'm saying? And, and hurting Slurp poodles. Like, Slurping noodles and hurting poodles. Wow. Just a whole bunch of like this. Wow. Bro, six by six <laughs> concrete brick. Sit there. <laughs> Eat once a day. Rap. That, that's your life. Like, you don't want to be there. Like, the life expectancy of an American in a Japanese prison is about 2.4 years total. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> you eat once a day. Yeah. Well, like, mm, don't don't fuck around over there, dog. Rib cage. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck around over there. Right, six by six. The record, what you got? The record, I'm not. I was your ass. <clears throat> if I was the breadwinner. If you were the breadwinner and you got a kept guy, or the other way around, he was the breadwinner. Yeah, I want to hear that first part, though. Guy. If you're the breadwinner, do you have the right to go out there and do whatever the fuck you want to do? He like, oh, where you going? Where you going? Where you can here? he question you? Can he can he regulate what you do? You going too long? Uh, I need some. I need a cuddle. No, well, I don't. I don't like to be questioned now. Mm. <laughs> so it would be. I'm gonna go with cheap. I'm, okay. I'm gonna do that. No, but you couldn't question me on a lot of stuff. Not the same because I make more money, but I just don't. You know what you do is what you do until it gets disrespectful. Mm. But don't keep questioning me over and over about something. That's that's a little annoying to me. So. What if he wants to regulate you? Like he's telling you, all right, you going out too much. You don't went out three times this week, and I need you home. Me and the kids need you here. So whatever plans you got for this Friday, you need to cancel. Okay, well then 
I will say the last time I checked, I left my mom and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that, but no, I wouldn't do it. I would say, okay. wow. I can get rebellious because mm-hmm. once you start doing that, then I just deliberately start doing it because don't try to control me. Once mm-hmm. you start doing that, yeah, I, I agree with I that. I just start doing stupid stuff just to, just to do it. Is but, that control or is it uh, cheating preventative maintenance, though? No, it's not. Like, yeah, I mean, you can't prevent anybody from cheating. You can never stop something. If they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Facts. Message. Right. That's the fact. So I can't stop them. I'm not gonna be. I see where you were going, though, Bill. Yeah. No, I'm not doing all that. That's too much energy to be worried about what you're about to do or what you're thinking about doing. Either you're gonna do it and you know they're doing it, or just don't worry about it until they get caught. But to speculate, that's too much time. All right. So what if you? He's the breadwinner. You the cat woman. He taking care of you, getting everything you want. Sex is good. It takes a lot of business trips though. He be gone for days at a time. Just years y'all been together, y'all kids, beautiful home, cars, whatever. And he just gone. And you find out it's a whole other thing. Or is it something that? You well, know, you find out he, it's he, he no good, out, right? He, yeah. Okay. But at first it was fine, stuff like that. I don't know because once I know he's cheating, then if he's it, it depends on if you just throw it in my face at that point. Like, you know, bitch, don't worry about where I'm going. You know what I've been doing. Yeah, then that's that's where I'm going to have to draw a line because now you're getting disrespectful. If you're going to do it, do it and just don't get caught doing it. Mm. It's okay. I have a quick question for you on that. Mm-hmm. Does it make a difference if you find out if the, the, the young lady is less, less looked I guess less attractive than you are versus someone who is much more attractive than you are. So if he's smashing a ugly, if if he's he's smashing a a dude, like a little troll looking chick, you don't care? You want to be ass mad? What the fuck? I'd be like, damn, really? But no, I want the the hairy mole, that Chinese mole in the Mm -hmm. hair. I mean, that's what you like. If that's what his preference, I will be questioning things because I'll be like, do he think that's what I kind of look like or something? But obviously, he ain't got a tight. Right. He just, damn, and then he ain't got no tight. It's like, he just wanted. They just running anything down. So, I don't know. Um, he out on wild so, hunting trips. So, so, Bill got something to say. Bill got something to say. That's how you know it ain't personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a transaction. This, this is true, but that's. But now you gotta ask the other question: Would he stop at just ugly chicks? Because if he out here running out shit, he, you know, he might run it up to a, a a cute little boy who's dressed in drag. Mm. I mean, I, I think it's run, run, run. What? What? What did I hear you say? Wow, you took it to a whole other You're talking about lady boys. Uh, hey, man. Y'all, y'all digging the basins out here. Some of them lady boys be fine as shit. <laughs> wow. Now, that Yo, I so, think, as long as you don't get caught, is what you're saying. As long as they throw in your face. Yeah, because, you know, I, but I probably know that's what he's doing, but as long as he's not really like. It's not evidence that he's just slacking on what he's supposed to be doing at home. I probably wouldn't care. Just probably being at home by myself, probably good anyway. So ain't no telling what I'll be doing. I, in, in, in my in my uh, studies of this, you know what I'm saying, I, I find that women of color take it personal on two levels. When uh, if it's a white woman or if it's a younger woman. Because it's it's sending a message. Also, it's not just um, because, you know what I'm saying? Um, listen, guys don't know how to articulate that. Hey, girl, listen, I love you to death. You know what I'm saying? There's any, I'll take care of you. I'll jump in front of a bullet for you. I'll suck poison out of your titty. All of that shit. But I need to stick my dick in something that isn't you. And I, and I believe, I firmly believe that men have not figured out a way to articulate Mm-hmm. That that it's not personal, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. women with PMS. It's real to you. It ain't real to us. You know what I'm saying? It's a, y'all get cramps. We don't feel your cramps. We know when you're on your. We know when you're having your cycle because there's physical evidence of it, right? 
You know what I'm saying? But your cramps and your moods, that's just something you can hinge on when you're not in the mood. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want I mean, that kind of Hold on. Wow. Just like, just really? like the, no, need, no. the feeling that you want to smash something else. That's a real feeling to men. But it ain't real to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, and, and because, well, I, 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 I hear where you're going with that. And, just, you know, you, 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 curve, you right? want, no, no, he's, he's accurate to just one degree. He's, he's off. Everything he said is pretty much accurate, but men have found a way to articulate it. It's American men who can't articulate it. Because everywhere, okay. almost everywhere else in the world, this is accepted. Poly, poly worships? Yeah, it's accepted. I mean, if you look at Africans, if you look at uh, Middle Easterners, if you look in Asian sure. cultures, if you look sure. at South American cultures, because there's the a lot of cultures are, the where... The women are with it. The women are with her. Right, but the women are with it because way down in steeped in tradition, it's what they have been accustomed to for hundreds and even thousands of years. Yeah. American right. culture's never been about that. So it's, it's not, <laughs> no, but um, so yeah, I'm I'm with you, Bill, um, and it, it's it's very true, you know, on both both accounts. Whereas, uh, women with their 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 cycles and their periods and stuff like that, that's something that's personal to you guys and something that you guys go through. And right. as women, you guys can all relate to that. Mm-hmm. We as men will never know right. what that is, so we can only go based on what you say it is so we have to formulate well it's as bad as my mate or what other women say it is but we don't necessarily we don't have a fucking clue if you're bent over saying oh my god this time of the month these cramps they hurt so bad we're like yeah that shit hurts really bad fucking don't hurt me i don't know fucking it means <laughs> what's that like a trolley horse drink some water yeah i don't know what fuck it means and you know and adversely like bill saying you know sometimes we we do get that itch you know we just get that we want some strange type of thing and it's very hard for emotional creatures to understand that because emotional creatures clinch emotional creatures once they 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 bond with somebody it's bound by emotion it's not bound by physicality now there's exceptions to every rule because there are some women that don't connect on that emotional level, just like there's some men that do connect on an emotional level. So there's this is not a you know black and white straight down the line, Monolith. but for the majority, it is a it is a, a a known law that you know men being more of a rational and a logical creature and women being an emotional creature, when you guys connect on an emotional level, y'all love and connect hard because. Your love is tied to what you feel. Yeah. And our love is tied to what we see and what we can conquer and what we can mm-hmm. what what we can possess. That's mm-hmm. what our love mm-hmm. is tied to. So it makes it a whole lot easier for us to, okay, you're my wife, you're my woman, you belong to me, you're mine. And if you don't, if you're not mature enough to understand what that means, and you're not mature enough to really get that concept. Sometimes that could become warped. Instead of it being, you're my woman, I belong to you, you belong to me, it turns into, you're my woman, put you on a mantle place, now I gotta go get something else. Because you're mine over here, so nobody else can touch you, you're mine, go sit down, now I gotta go find something else. And people get that warped, people get that twisted. So, <clears throat> you do gotta be real quick, careful, and I can understand everybody's side of the, uh, the coin on this thing. Um, What's your answer? My, 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 my answer? Both sides. Why, why you the winner and you the cat man. Kind of stank. You don't believe it? Huh? You said why your why face Why Michelle K's face look kind of stank? Oh, no. I hear, I'm, I'm listening. I, I yeah. was watching your face the whole time. <laughs> when Bear's talking, no, you're I'm like. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to understand it all. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it, you when you bring it down to a psychological level. You ain't been here long to understand this yet? Yeah. Right. And we gave you so much insight. I mean, <laughs> my answer it, once again I don't know if it's the Gemini thing or whatever it is but I got two different answers and it's it's Bear from two different ages Bear at this age things completely different than Bear at 18 to, to 35 you know Bear at 46 is a completely different animal at this age 
if I was a kept man, you know, and I'm not working, or if I'm working, but my wife is making two or three or four times the amount that I am, at this age, if she's going out there and it's making her happy to go find a young motherfucker to jump on on her eight, nine times a week, but I'm being left alone, I can do what the fuck I want, and there's no questions on it, yo, do your thing. Nah, I don't believe that. Do your thing. Do your thing. That's what I'm saying. See, it's hard for you to conceptualize because of the simple fact that you still have that possessive mentality. I don't have that possessive mentality other than the fact that I'm confident in what I have at home and what belongs to me. Because me and my wife communicate about things. Now, if my wife went out and, and like Bill was saying earlier, if she went out and started doing dirty shit and I found out about it, yes, it's gonna be a problem. But if my wife came to me and communicated and said, you know what, um, you know, I just, I got that feeling where I just, I just want something different or I, I just want something over here. Or like in your scenario where, you know, I happen to be snooping or something ain't yeah, right and I true. find out, right. you know, hey, who the fuck did these airline tickets that got Jerome on this shit? Who the fuck is this? And I find out that that's the dude she been flying in or she been flying to see. Yep. And she approaches me like, well, I mean, now you know. I mean, nothing changed at home. Nothing else changed at home? I'm not fucking up a lot of shit, though. Like, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm, I'm happy at home now. That's what I'm saying. Nothing changed. Every, she ain't doing like he said. No derelict shit. Nothing's out of order. Kids ready still get fit. Mad. You, you still feel some kind of way. I know. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, I'm gonna have that 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 snag. Like everybody's gonna have that that snag of betrayal. I'm gonna have that. I'm like, I can't believe she did this. Mm-hmm. And then when I go home and look around the crib and be like, that's fucked up. You know what that? But that that that's called the Columbus complex. Mm. Other people may care, but we always want to feel like we discovered it. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is, bro. You know From what, what aspect? Like, what regard? Of my country, somebody. Yeah, you, know, you know what I mean. You know, it, 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 yeah, bro. There's a now you that put, you put the flag on it. When your yeah, wife, that's, that's your wife, and you, right? You discover it, she's yours. Broke the ocean. Right, and right. And out, you know what I'm saying, of a man. And you right, I mean? right. And, and well, I'll, I'll feel you know, that for a, a, an instant. And of course, there will be some hurt tied to it because I thought it was just all me. And then, of course, that, that whole, you know, the floor drops out from underneath you feeling like my whole life is like, I just found out all this and everything's in turmoil now. Yeah, I'm going to go through that. But... Is it enough for me to see for everything at the crib? But she's still seeing him. She's telling you she's not gonna stop seeing him. Yeah, that's that. It's Here's an unfair. Thing. If she's telling me that, uh-huh. if I leave, she's still gonna see him anyway, right? True. So what are we doing here? So I leave, and now I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> like what are we doing? Like 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 let's but, let's be rational but, about the but, thing, but, right? You don't think he the gonna, conversation's gonna, gonna, gonna fill be your place. He's gonna take all that good shit. For real. All the good shit you've been Hold doing. Hold on. Now, now see, we gotta be rational, fellas, all right? Let's let's think about this. Okay. We're kept. Okay? Let, let's break down what kept is. Okay. Kept yeah. is kept is, hey, I want for nothing. Nothing. nothing okay? If I'm sitting you at the crib nothing and I'm nothing. like, yo. That GMC Hummer just dropped. The the E Hummer just dropped, and she's like, "Well, if you want to go get it today, yeah, go get it. What color? Whatever color you want. Go ahead. Kept. You see what I'm saying? So whatever desires I want, I'm kept like that. Not we're together and we both struggling, or we're both like succeeding together. I'm kept, which means that I gave up my career a long ass time ago. You're a house husband, <laughs> You're a house husband basically. Huh? You're a house husband. Yeah. yeah, you're a step it. Like, yeah. if that's the situation, the fuck I care. At 46? What? The, what? Come on, son, but what? Real, realistic. What? Bear. You, you bear. work Yo, my, she tell you hey, at money. this age, my pride is no longer tied to my dick. Okay? So I've had I, I've had my runs, and I used to slay, nigga, for real. Like, I used to have them banging on my window. I used to have the CBIBs in the bushes. So, yo, I, I got the mantles on the wall. Like, I got the plaques everywhere. I used to pass them out. So I'm good. At this age, the wife is happy. I'm good. 
But if I'm kept in that situation and she decides she wants some strange, as long as she ain't telling me, you know what, I'm moving in Jerome, then I'm be like, <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I'm shooting all y'all. <laughs> I'm killing you before you she can said, change. She said, that video game you be playing, you will have a new partner to play with you. Oh, man. That's going to be something. I also hate well, now we got to go brother husbands again, I guess. <laughs> What's yeah. up? What's up? There also is a component of discretion that has to be involved. Like, she lets you know, and I you agree. let that shit rock, that's fine. But you can't be... And this is the problem that most women have. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't humiliate me. You know what I'm saying? I can don't see that. Let, don't put it to the public. You know I what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't humiliate me, bro. Right. Like, don't. Yeah. So right. There's that as well. So I'm 100 percent with that. Yeah. Don't 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 be punking me out in the streets. Be like, yeah. He know. He know. Yeah. Like, I'm. And her girls be like, oh, you gonna bring your own? I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I hear you on that. I hear you on that. But um. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna break up the crime ring when I'm benefited from the crime ring. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, but let me ask my you pride a just ain't yeah. tied like that no more. Yeah. Man. Let me ask you a question, man. What's up? I know, I know you're not, you know, as uh, emotional. Yeah, I'm, I'm different at this. Right? I'm different at this age. I really right, am. right. And I get that, but all right, put this scenario right. The tax lady with with, with the fat booty go, goes and seats her own. She comes home to you the next day you're in the kitchen making your breakfast she comes to you hey babe how you doing gives you a kiss in the lips okay <laughs> oh, Jesus. how's that emotion right there she she stood out all night she came home gives you a kiss in the lips knowing in your head already he smashed your own a few hours throat. ago she got throat bad emotional wise See, Come here and see their trials. And, and in his scenario, am I still capped? Yep. Oh, yes. we're still on that, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can still go out and get that that um that GMC Hummer, right? Whatever you like. The, the one that crab walks. Yep. That one, right? Yep. Get the fuck out of here. Who's worried about that? Who's worried about that? You telling me you gonna keep coming back for like night after night? See, yeah, heavy duty. This is how I packs to to, to, to Hellcats. My friend, you know what I'm saying? This is what <laughs> happens? Chestnut checkers. It's how scat packs turn into Hellcats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, man, you got to play the game right, man. I mean, I in that situation, one day and, and, and once again, once again, the, for me, the scenario changes if we're all on the even playing field. You know, right, if we're both earning together and we're a power couple, or we're both struggling together, or if we're both evenly killed, now, you know what I'm saying, now there's problems, there, there's issues, there's betrayal. Cause I mean, yeah. you know, I'm out here busting my ass, why are you doing this? Like, but now if I'm at the crib chilling. So what if it's like a 70-30 thing? She's making, and, and paying about 70% of the bills, you okay. making a decent check, for maybe 50, 60 grand, she making triple that. But your check is so like whatever you can keep that shit and can't really contribute much. Can, can, can I pay the mortgage by myself? You can you can put a percentage. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> so so yeah, the if she put so me crazy. out, I, I can't the afford to so live there no more, right? Yeah, the mortgage so crazy. What are we talking about? You can put a, you can put something in the light bill. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Do do I gotta start making these payments on the on the Hummer? Like what are we talking about? Nah, come on, man. Metro PCS. <laughs> Word. I got. I got to give up my my AT and T. I got to go back to Metro. <laughs> what are we talking about, dog? <laughs> I got to go back to basic cable. <laughs> like, what the, get the fuck out of here, man. No more NFL packages. That's it. Yeah, that's Shit. where I draw the line. The cable. Yeah. <laughs> For real. I I don't have Max no more. Like, what, what, <laughs> I gotta go back to to regular BET. <laughs> I'm gonna BT. I'm gonna BT plus Word. Like, what channel is ESPN these days? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, are you kidding me? If that, if I can keep red zone, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? saying? I just Dude, got I spoiled by a uh, Sunday ticket. I got to go back to, like, waiting for games? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, who the f What? <laughs> nah. Uh -uh. Hey, hold on. 
is a flip to that. You know what I'm saying? Because if there was a nigga that was willing to go to Costco and Trader Joe's and 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 stop and shop, you know what I'm saying? With my wife every Sunday instead of me. Meme. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> But hey, what Jerome doing? Call that nigga up, because I don't want to do that shit. For real. Like, I'm in the middle of the game, and she's like, oh, do you want to go with me to... No. <laughs> what you got to well, you know I'm a call. Go right in. Uh, in my head. Go get the motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Go get him. Out my mouth. Well, if you, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> well, I'll be back later. Okay. <laughs> flip, flip, flip. In my gaming it, days, boy, I would have been on them sticks all day. Like, mm, not a problem. Come on, Tom. Come on, Heavy Duty. Sign on so, so I can bust your ass in Madden, dog. <laughs> I got all day. So, Heavy Duty. <laughs> yeah, you the yeah, bread, bread winner. You got to play the game on mute because of what's going on upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I got to turn the volume all the way up. Oh, I don't want to hear that you shit. Hear that shit. <laughs> right. Heavy Duty, you, you the bread winner. I got the surround sound beat. <laughs> you, you the bread winner. In the same situation, she not all the way kept, but maybe she makes contribute like 20 30 percent to the household. You out here, you know, busting ass, you get whatever she want to, years in, you take trips, you go wherever, massages, whatever the fuck you want to do. And she starts questioning you. So I ask her what you're doing and who you're doing it with. How you feeling about that? If she finds out that, you know, you've been doing whatever, you've been cheating, she finds one of your masseuse people in the, in the phone. She have a woman, a woman like Barbara. And demand with, you stop. With Suki. <laughs> with Suki. All right. So just to recap, I'm the breadwinner. You're the breadwinner. And she's putting pressure on me because I'm out all night hanging out with, uh, you know, Chung Wan Lee. Yep. Or whatever. And she found a message with some right, pictures. I smell like almond oil every day? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she saw like, some messages, <laughs> some pictures. All that. So, what, what? What's the question about it? Uh, what do you? Are you? You know how you? How you approaching? Are you saying fuck? I made the money, so I do whatever I want to. Or what you? What you saying? If I'm at that level already, where I'm di disrespecting my wife from you know cheating on her in whatever way or form, something already checked out in my mind, you know, attachment wise. So, uh, you know, it would be the, the right thing to do is actually pull up to her and talk to her like, look, this is what's happening. It, you know, this is how I feel, right? This is what it is. He said feel. Let's he work did say it. feel. It is what it is. Oh, okay. You going to tell about your feelings? No. He's lying. Of <laughs> <laughs> I just think words that they use. They always use, I feel, I feel this. Which means uh -huh. nothing to us. Uh -huh. But I gotta use their words, their lingo. See, my wife ain't gonna find a, right. She ain't gonna find messages. She might find an invoice. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Paid by the 30th. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this woman that gave you kids and all that kind of good stuff, years and years, you just say, at that point, you disattached. And so I just said, I will have a conversation with her, letting her know, hey, something has changed where, where there's a disconnect, you know, we're not having enough sex or emotion or or whatever it is, you know. Oh, so you gonna gaslight her? For sure. I should tell your mama, are you? <laughs> well, I mean, it's your fault, bitch. I am using Look what, you, look what you made me do. <laughs> <laughs> I would never be doing this. <laughs> if you played oh, your position. Oh God. You kept saying you got headaches. I said, okay, I'll find someone who has no headaches. Ooh. So, again, like I said, what if she doing everything? Everything, nothing changed. Everything's good. Cooking meals, doing all shit right. And if somebody for me, else, for it's me just to do more. something on the side, something must be disconnected in the house. You telling me? Do it, just do it. You telling me? All the Puerto Rican, beautiful, Colombian joints.
with the flat stomach and the booty all stuff, come up to you and say, rub your head and look you in the eyes and say, Bobby, you are everything I ever wanted in a man. Did he just spot blow him on the cast? <laughs> and you Damn. telling me she's doing everything at the crib, but you wear one of your trips. And you see that fine <laughs> Colombian Selma Hayek. What's the other chick from uh, that, that? Don't put me in this no, shit. Don't listen. <laughs> What's that show? So with Sophia? Was yeah. Sophia? That's I I heard heard up. Oh, yeah. I her. Come up to you. <laughs> wow. I I'm not going to attribute the heavy duty said, cutie ending up in the backyard under some tomato plants, nigga. You're back in this nigga chopped up. <laughs> she said, I've been looking at you all night at the bar. I've been waiting for this perfect opportunity. Oh, shit. What you going to do? Okay. Well, I'm I'm requesting the trunk card. <laughs> <laughs> the trunk card is I need Bear to edit this section of the video. <laughs> <laughs> like he edited the, the video portion of last. Denied. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> it shall fly. <laughs> it shall fly like American colors. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on, don't deflect. What's what's going on? What you doing? Fine, no. Colombiana. Nah, man. That's just the flesh. Oh, okay. That's just the flesh. That's just wow. the flesh. Yeah. Oof. Jesus. Well, the, because even though I'm the breadwinner, at the end of the day, that divorce is going to say 50 50 either way. Half. One more. Chop. One more. Chop. The, you know what I mean? The, Sophia Vergara is a beautiful woman until she starts talking. Uh, same thing with Cardi B. You know what oh, I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't beautiful. like ghetto chicks. That, that, that's until, a CJ thing. Well, stop until calling I me this motherfucker. You from the Bronx. You, I, you had a couple ratchets. So shut right, the fuck up. I, yeah, when I was 19. You had still ratchets. Hold on. What are you saying, bro? Sorry, bro. I said I put an inch when they start talking. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if they don't, if they just stay there and be pretty and fuckable, you know what I'm saying? I'm it's it's good to go, bro. I don't need I don't need a hymns or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. They I don't need the hymns. <laughs> but bro, I do it. I can't say it, y'all, man. <laughs> I, 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 I can't stand not one of y'all. <laughs> y'all ain't even a little turd. Like y'all ain't no bit of shit. None of y'all. None of y'all ain't shit. Why? Y'all talk about all these fake ass women out here, and then y'all go and y'all get the enhancements for the dick like instantly. Like all y'all, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> hey, if they take Blue Cross Blue Shield, sign me up. Oh my god, I can't with y'all, man. I get it's y'all. It's not cosmetic. I need it. Oh it's exercising. Man, yeah. retire the stuff, man. You, it's getting you in trouble, obviously. <laughs> So the answer is no, no Sophia, no, no Summer Hayat. No, you gonna be good. I, I can disconnect. Hey, I could, I, I, I could listen. She has a, a Summer Hayat dog. Mm-hmm. But now Sophia, when she speaks Spanish, I might have to take a book. Uh, speaks English. I'm like, mommy, a no. knife to the kidney for that one, dog. I just might have to take the stab. Yeah, Selma Hayek is tough, my brother. Mm. I hit you with the yeah. Selma. Mm. I hit you with the Selma. You turn to Selma mm. now. Mm. Yeah, that's you not crossing that bridge. Mm. That's my point. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. If, 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 if those ladies are giving me a massage, hey. you know. That's the gateway to drug the dick, nigga. That's for you. A massage? It's all how, you know, how you look at it. If I'm getting a massage, it's part of the service. She's not servicing. She's just a regular fucking woman. You see on one of your business trips. I didn't say she was right. off and your service. And I got service. a massage wherever I went. And her name was Sophia or, or Sama Hayek. <laughs> Okay. I got. Who the fuck is massaging your big ass back, nigga? Oh, <laughs> Spread out like Thanksgiving turkey and put oil on your big ass back. Don't get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, Bill? Do we do we fetish do we fetishize foreign women because we know that they're they're culturally apart from. The shit that we get in America, yeah. you know what I'm saying? To some degree, yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Like we, the, we, we, we believe that there is an automatic component that they are a, a bit more submissive yes. than America. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it easier to fetishize. <laughs> no, I don't want to leave out the conversation. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
I don't want to stress out. Give me all of them. Do you feel like that about? Is there like an African guys or British guys and British actors? You, know, you look at it like, hmm. Come over the country, like yeah. Up? Wow. Well, it's definitely I mean, gonna be opposite for her oh, because oh. if they come from countries where they're more dominant over there. I mean, but no, I don't. I mean, oh, that was good. That's a lot yeah, yeah, in here, just like there's any other. That doesn't bother me to go to another country to look for. Okay. Yeah. I, I agree with Michelle. I'm an equal opportunity brother. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm equal opportunity. I don't. I don't worry about that. Pretty's pretty. The only thing I I stay away from. I don't like fucking dominant bossy chicks. I fuck out of it. I don't want to hear all all the lip and all the mouth and stuff. Like I can be friends with them. Like I'm cool as hell with what? with Michelle. Okay, I don't like the fucking mouth. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Bro, I don't. You got a house at the house. Huh? You don't like you got an alpha at the house. That's why we fight all the fucking time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just about to say we that. We fight all the time, all the time. Yeah, you are, dog. <laughs> all the time. I love the hell out of my wife, but whoo, whoo. If God ever wanted to play a practical joke and put a pair of nuts on her, I would knock her the fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Blackout the one day. <laughs> oh my god, I swear, yo, everybody know I love my wife. I'd never take the Frodo off. The Frodo stays right there all the time, right there. The Frodo, but I'm telling you, boy, oh my god. But see, you. she's southern, so she she does have a bit of that, that southern charm. It's just she's stubborn, like, she's not the type where she's a smart mouth, she just. She want to do her own thing, and I'm not, I'm not big on submissive chicks because I don't, like I wouldn't know what to do if I ever had one of those. Like I would probably lose my fucking mind if I had a chick that just did everything that I said. Get the whips. I, it, it would, it would be bad. It would be bad. So, and my wife, she's not. That's the thing. She's not mouthy. She's just not submissive. Like she's very strong willed, but. When you know when the shit when the shit hits the road and we got to get shit done, you know, shit's gonna get done. You know, even if my way might not be the best and hers is the best, and I gotta concede at times, or if it's my way and she don't want to go, then it's gonna be my way. But at the end of the day, we'll get the shit done. We won't sit in a stalemate for long. But she's just not one of those want to talk shit like New York females. I never I can't I, I couldn't do it. Right. I don't I, I don't know how niggas fuck with New York with like I couldn't have a chick, yo, dead ass nigga. I should fuck you up, nigga, dead ass. Yeah. Like I mm, 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 mm. on bear, I called on bear. You ain't never lived life until you heard yo, yo, shun, you pulling up a what, nigga? I'm dumb wet. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's that kind of talk. See, so we fucking or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, because my shit just turned into lip noodle, dog. As soon as you open your I'm mouth, I, hey, I'm with you, Pat, bro. I heard a whole ass dude like talking to me just now. Like, I don't want to fuck that. <laughs> I, yeah, I gotta leave that to better men, man. I, I can't, I, I can't get past women who are like that. That's too aggressive for me. I can't, mm -mm. I can't do it, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't, yeah. Brothers that can that like that shit and can deal with it, hats off. I can't. I can't. I do. I'm like, man, it's time for you to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like first date. They still, still like, wearing Tim's. They still wearing Tim's to bed and shit. Nah. Hey, listen, Where? bro. Not you ain't lived life until you pay love to a woman on a mob deep album. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a jam on them. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this shook ones. One outside, nobody safe from. Yo, Word. Said, bro. Drill yo, God. This yo, my son. Yo, this that last story. nut, son. Yo, that was there, son. That was there. That was there. Do it like that from now on. I don't want that. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> it was a time when I was like 17 years old. Chick was asking to give me head. Beautiful chicks from Soundview. And she comes to the to the crib and she said, I want to I get my dick sucked. She said, I ain't never did it before. I was like, you never did it before? She's like, no, I don't do it. I don't feel uncomfortable doing it. I said, what can I do to make you more comfortable? She's like, well, can you sing a song or something? I was like, I don't really sing. So I was like, I can rap something. And she said, like, that'll, that'll work. 
All right, one more chance. What the fuck did I just hear, Lance? <laughs> that motherfucker gave me the best head. <laughs> I couldn't even get to the other oh, biggie. Give, uh, <laughs> see? One, uh, man, I said, you sure you never did this shit before? Cause one more chance. <laughs> see? <laughs> uh, see? So I'm at it. Yeah. See, that's why I'm, I'm not leaving Georgia, dog. Unless I go to Florida, I'm not leaving. I'm not gonna leave that to I can't, man. I love my roots, but I can't go back to New York, man. I can't. I'm just not built for it, though. No I don't want that shit no I can't deal. I can't deal. I can't get on a train and hear a girl talk about, yo, son, I should fuck you up, son. I, I. <laughs> No, she was saying, it's word to me. Word to my mother, so I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to call my brothers. <laughs> Yo, I should bust you in the head dead ass. <laughs> Nigga, you talking so to your dude you know, like this? Yeah. Mm. So you can Japanese prison and huh? all the things that you, that you ain't trying to deal with no freaking New York. Japanese hey, prison on New York chick. That's why. Oh, so we gonna go would you rather? <laughs> yep. Is that what y'all wanna do? No, hold on, no, no, where's no, my page? We gonna nothing. go would you rather? No, nah. no. Um, <laughs> he got scared. Hey, hey, hey technicality. I'll go New York woman, but she gonna be from Poughkeepsie. <laughs> <laughs> Champion! <laughs> For you, Michelle K, yeah, that's upstate New York. <laughs> I ain't fuck with no burrow chicks. It's <laughs> gonna have like a tiny accent like a motherfucker. She gonna be from Buffalo. <laughs> she gonna be a Bills fan. Oh, <laughs> fuck <shit>. that. <laughs> she gonna be from Piscataway. <laughs> fuck that. Uh uh-uh, uh, man. I, uh uh-uh, uh, I can't deal with you this city rat. chick fuck you real good and give you a chopped cheese after? No, I want a chick to fuck me real good and give me some collard green tobacco and teas after, nigga. I want the southern chick. I want her to say, baby, you all right? And then go to the bathroom and give me a rag and wipe the sweat off me and say, oh, that was that was good. Even if it was subpar, lie to me. I don't want them fucking honest-ass New York bitches. That's it? Man, it was all right, son. It was all right. Yo, do better next time, though. I don't want that. It's your, turn. it's your turn to get the rag. You know what I'm saying? She get out of bed. Instead of putting on some 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 slippers, she slip into some Tim's to go to the bathroom to get the rag? No, I don't want that. <laughs> Knocking roaches off the rag. I hear in the bathroom talk about, yo, son, get off. Get off, son, get off. No, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Hold on, Bear. And she pull out a black and mild. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> black and mild. Holy shit. <laughs> Coming back to my... Yo, you got that spark? Yo, get, yo, yo. No, fuck that. Nah, she like, she had that shit at your head like the way you hit that right. shit from the back door, my nigga. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody pipe me down like that. I gotta, I gotta put you in the group chat, my nigga, today. That's yeah, and they say real nigga shit to you. Hey, yo, man, no homo, but when you got close to my ass, I kind of like that. No homo. <laughs> No homo, you a chick, it's a hype. <laughs> what you mean, no homo? <laughs> nah, I don't, nah, I'm good. I don't want none of that. Y'all keep all that New York chick. Y'all, mm-mm. I'm staying in the South. I'm staying below the Mason Dixon line now, thank you. That's it. <laughs> Let me tell you, my, my wife is a true to Brooklyn person. My wife, you know what I'm saying, born and raised Fort Greene, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? And she definitely balances the femininity with the, you know what I'm saying, the New York toughness, the the, the stereotype that y'all talking about. So okay. I you, but she does definitely have this balance of femininity that I, you know what I'm saying, I make love to her, she mushes me, I love it. Wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> That shit's funny. That shit's funny. You can look at that. I say, I love you. He's like, fuck out of here with all that shit. (laughs) We got the sun do better. You're like, oh Oh, my god. Your belly is crazy. (laughs) Since he mushed me and everything. (laughs) One round bus. I'll have fun in the half Nelson, though. You know what I'm saying? Say word. Wow. So what? She got she got the Tim's with the heels on them. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep. Wow. You got one of those? Wow. Yep. It, she got the high heel buddies, dog. <laughs> she killing it. I wow. even put y'all to get a little taller than me, too. So we wear the same size stems. Like, it's, it's... Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Bill, yo, blink twice if you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, the call, like, tell that nigga, tell him shit right. <laughs> tell, him, tell him what happened was really good. Take a yeah. uh, She got a pair of 5411s too? <clears throat> wow. Yo, that should, that should be the tagline for marriage. Marriage. I'm in love with my abuser. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Straight Stockholm syndrome up in here, dog. Oh my god. Oh, what a thing. Through my contract, baby. That's that that's marriage in a nutshell. <laughs> what were we talking know. about again? What was the main topic? No, we went three. I don't know, left. but but <laughs> but Big Bill, man, if you ever need a halfway house, man. Just think <laughs> Just think Georgia, baby. All we right. got you. <laughs> we got you. We come back to North. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never come I, down here. New York is scared of Georgia if you just say Georgia. Don't say Atlanta, I, though. I'll send you a text on my Metro PC. <laughs> 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 get, get that burner. Get that burner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh. Fantastico. Hey, he knew what he was doing when he got me in here. He knew what it was. <laughs> Wait, we need, we need Bill to come back, man. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Now, that's a show. <laughs> wow. So, you, uh, you good? Or? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. We're going to play out the whole clause. I don't feel like stopping it. <laughs> Yo, we've been like since 1984. For anybody in wow. here, we, we, we've we been, you know what I'm saying? Listen, it's been a long time. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you lost touch with Abby, but a long time, bro. And it's like, I love the fact that we're able to pick up where we left off. And yes, you know indeed. what I'm saying? And else here is incorporated into it, man. And, and, and I'm glad, and I'm very happy and honored to share this experience with you all. Real shit, real oh, shit. What's up? Yeah, yeah. We, we appreciate, we appreciate it, man. it, man. Thanks yeah, for coming. Glad you're here, man. No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm a regular. We, damn, we uh, got excited. Listen, I'll, hey, listen, I'll pull up. Nothing. It's all not right, you got, but you got to watch five five shows and come in all five before you can do that. Well, damn, you asked him to do more than uh, two people in the room already. <laughs> shit. That's why I'm saying that. Now, you know, right here. Now, I did comment once before, but see, I think I kept, I don't know how to do it. So I kept repeating the same comment, but then I couldn't tell if it sent it or not. But then when I went to the news fed, it was like three, it repeated it like three times. Set her <laughs> up, heavy duty. Get, get the whole dog. He's lying. <laughs> I did. I have to try to do it again. I, I'll tell you. I'm... Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for all our subscribers, we thank you and just keep on watching. Um, yeah, we've already we hit another milestone. Um, we got another thousand in, so we we're, we're hitting them numbers. So we're going up. We're going up. We're going up. So let's keep it going. We still and, gain love from Africa and the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot more coming out of uh, the oh, Asian Pacific too. Going B, yeah, all your damn massage keywords. You be said buzzwords. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah. VIP son, holla. Yeah, we might lose him now because y'all yeah. motherfuckers started naming him out, talking you about they dragon. Right. <laughs> 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 they named with bamboo sticks and shit. Nigga, nigga said bamboo stick Ali. You know? Fucking <laughs> Kendo stick Jones and shit. <laughs> Like hashtag <laughs> chopsticks. <laughs> you know, fucked up the game for yeah, us. Yeah. Appreciate that. Lao, Lao Ming fucking jokes. 
fucked everything up. Oh, man. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to, I think we're going to get ready to get out of here. You know, it's, it's been a pretty good show. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely got, got plenty said and all that. So we're going to get ready to get up out of here unless anybody else got anything else that they want to run through. And we didn't even ask. It's a pleasure working with Bill, Bill, man. Nice Absolutely. Real talk. Yeah, bird. Yeah, and definitely. It, and, oh. Hey, follow me. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on TikTok. I am the Peace God. Instagram, I am the Peace God. And on Facebook, William Vasquez. V A Z Q U E Z. That's a lot of points in Scrabble. Whoa, hold on a second. There you You're go. Puerto Rican? Huh? You Puerto Rican? I'm half. Oh, from the top down or top up? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> That's too. Pr- this nigga stay asking about. <laughs> God damn, nigga, say pause when you say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, say what know about niggas all halves. How about this? I'll show you my navel. Go fish, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> you can figure it out from there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> silly. <laughs> They officially did it again. Ooh. I'm seeing the little twinkles again. And I, I, I'm losing it again. You motherfuckers are stupid. Oh, my God. All right. Wow. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ready to get up out of here. Ooh. I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Charles. We'll share, okay? Heavy duty cutie. I am the peace guy. Yes, Peace, indeed. Uh, and we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe. Peace. Peace.